It's been almost a week since a young Russian woman living in the Spanish sea resort of Alicante was murdered. Just days before her death, Svetlana Orlova agreed to appear on a TV talk show with a surprise guest. According to Spanish newspapers, she thought the surprise would be her mother. But instead, it was her ex-boyfriend. Only a few weeks before, he'd been given a restraining order for abusing her. Somehow, the TV channel was not aware of these charges. He asked her to marry him. She said no. Four days later, she had her throat cut on the doorstep to her home. She left behind her five-year-old son. Her ex-boyfriend, Ricardo Navarro, is being held in police custody as a murder suspect. But he says he's not guilty. He denies the accusation. So we are now waiting for the judge's decision, waiting to see if he is freed or, on the contrary, has to go to prison. Many details in the case are unclear. Vendors at the Fontana shopping center where Ricardo Navarro worked are tight-lipped. His family owns this butcher's. Spanish newspapers are now reporting that Ricardo Navarro's father was sending Svetlana death threats. Svetlana's family wants to repatriate her body, but some say her mother, who lives in St. Petersburg, may not be able to afford all the expenses. Alexander runs a not-for-profit organization that gives support to Eastern European immigrants in Alicante. It would be hard for many people to pay the costs involved in repatriating a body from Spain to Russia. We've just come back from the cemetery. I spoke to the director. He said it would cost about 28 to 4900 euros to help get Svetlana's body home to give her a proper funeral. I want the Russian community to do all they can to give Svetlana on a dignity in death and to help her family. A few members of the Russian community have decided to do something about this, to take matters into their own hands and to help Svetlana's family deal with their tragic loss. So they're putting up these notices in Russian places all around the city. Please help, reads this sign. As far as I know, from the newspapers, a boyfriend of hers had a 500 meters uh, prohibition uh, and uh, she also appeals to the police several times but he been giving her calls and uh, after all that I don't know how can a person be safe. Local police estimate Alicante is the Spanish city with the biggest Russian population, with about four to six thousand legal immigrants and many more illegal. There are Russian shops, restaurants and bars all over the city. One even has a banya, a Russian bathing house. These are the Russians who don't make the headlines. Jessica Lemazurier, Russia Today, Alicante, Spain.